Hi, uh, Joan Stallard from uh, Code Pink, DC. Um, we've uh, been holding uh, APAC protests outside APAC for a few years now. The purpose of doing this is uh, to modify the voice of APAC to the extent that we are able. APAC is a hugely powerful lobbying organization. They have uh, deep pockets, and uh, the statistics are that, um, that their voice does actually influence uh, the way that Congress people and senators uh, propose legislation and vote on legislation. Their APAC has a huge annual meeting in D.C., invites Congress people and administrative individuals, and they come. And Netanyahu would be speaking there this year again. Perez is speaking, I believe. And there will be Nancy Pelosi speaking. And in the audience will be hundreds of Congress people. They get introduced individually. You know, their names are read out. And you would, as you see them walking in, they're progressive uh, type of Congress people, uncomfortable, but they go in because they know there is a, there's literally a fallout if they don't. It, you know, they're, they become targets for losing their seats in Congress if they don't see things APAC's way. So bottom line is it puts us in danger. Uh, those of us who are you're not in agreement with APAC's policies, it puts us in danger of having our Congress that we vote for vote the way that APAC wants them to vote. So we're out there uh, doing the extent we can, uh, getting as much publicity as we can to show that not everybody agrees with APAC's policies. Now, I did, do you, would you like me to talk briefly about the APAC policies that we had the most problem with? Yes, please. Okay. Um, APAC uh, is, is, of course, a primary supporter of all things Israel. But APAC, uh, a whole lot of Israeli people um, who are primarily uh, Jewish at this point, a whole lot of them do not approve of the Netanyahu policies, which are very saber-rattling, uh, huge investment, a lot of the money coming from American uh, Jewish element to support the settlements which are taking over Palestinian land and putting walls around Palestinian land and building roads through Palestinian land to get to the settlements. And those roads are not uh, accessed and not allowed to be accessed by anybody but those settlers and people going to and from the settlers. They're taking over, their, of course, the uh, Israeli uh, capital is in Tel Aviv right now, but uh, Netanyahu is very open about their moving it to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which is a city of religious significance for all religions. The people who live in Jerusalem of Arab uh, background are, are really strongly discriminated against. And I don't mean that all Israeli citizens are in approval of this, but uh, because there are, they are on the streets and they are protesting, but it is not anywhere near enough to change policy and there aren't people standing up to be elected to Israeli politics evidently that, that are appealing enough to have them overturn this policy. So we support Palestinian human rights and the right to have their own land and their own security at night and not have to go through 10 checkpoints to get to work in the morning and being able to get to a hospital when they're, especially if they're women in labor. I mean, there's, there's a very, very long list of human rights, uh, 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 horrible actions against the Palestinians. And, um, and so the whole reason for APAC, uh, as, as I see it, is to, is to moderate the APAC position, to let people know that, you know, that we're not rolling over on, on the, the, the statements about Israeli sovereignty. We try to bring attention to the fact that Israel has probably at this point 400 nuclear uh, armaments 
uh, bomb, and they are not part of uh, the organization that that uh, the Middle East organization that controls nuclear power in the Middle East. They have not joined. 